2023 was the year where AI became a reality. AI is kind of a fancy thing. It's, first of all, it's two letters. We also grasp for new ways to describe the seriousness and urgency of climate change. Earth is now in an era of global boiling. More of us went back to the office, whether we liked it or not, and some of us were quietly reassigned. Even a new monarch finally went to work and took the throne, with language there to greet him. Seems like everything got weaponized this year. This hearing on the weaponization of the federal government. The weaponization against the former president. Including being woke. Well, as we always say on this show, go woke, go broke. Conservative dads, ultra right, 100% woke free beer. Meanwhile, we heard a lot of new terms from the world of Elon Musk. A rapid, unscheduled disassembly. <laughs> Social media site X, formerly known as Twitter, could threads be the Twitter killer. In 2023, American politicians tried their hardest for their own language moment. We now have to finish the job. Mission first. It's this culture of grievance. Every time I hear you, I feel a little bit dumber. And to fire their own leaders. I do intend to file a motion to vacate against Speaker McCarthy. Around the world, old conflicts came to life again with new fury and new language to go with it. We stand with Israel. Abortion remained a hot button issue with new language from both sides. Over the counter birth control pill called Opil. And the economy was on everyone's mind with a threat of a recession. Hard or soft landing this uncertain time as a rolling recession. We found new ways to talk about inflation. Eggflation. Greedflation. Tipflation. While companies continued to struggle to find their voice on social issues. Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever. Bratty, out of touch humor. And these multinational corporations, they don't care about us. They just care about their ESG, their social credit score. But some of our favorite entertainers had no problem expressing their voice. Ladies, don't let anybody tell you you are ever past your prime. Celebrity Babies got a new name this year. Nepo Baby, you've heard it? And so did the next generation. Just let us cook, you know what I'm saying? Let me cook, cuzzo. Boys had a hot moment this year. Barefoot boy summer, apparently. Yeah, I heard about this. But in the end, it was really the year of the girl. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Girl dinner. Girl, girl dinner. We are embracing rodent energy now and declaring it a rat girl summer. <gasps> 2.3 magnitude earthquake, and it lasted several hours. How's it feel that Taylor Swift has finally put you on the map? <laughs> Language moments shape the year. Language itself shapes how business is done and how the world is run. Make yours matter with Ms. Lansky and Partners.